If drive trains are house plants, then the belt drive is the cactus. It is super easy to take care of. If you've got a belt, all you have to do is inspect its condition and the tension every few thousand miles. It's quick and easy to do, and we're gonna show you how to do it in this video from the MC Garage. A drive belt like we have on this Harley Davidson Fat Bob here can last up to 100,000 miles if properly maintained. And taking care of it just means checking its condition and its tension about as often as you change your oil. To inspect the belt, rotate the rear wheel and look at the inside and outside surface of the belt, looking for nicks, tears, fraying, or holes. Then take a look at the pulleys. If they're chromed, you want to ensure that it's not flaking off since that serves as a hard, durable coating. Otherwise, you're just looking for uneven teeth, chipping, or other signs of wear. Now, I have removed the upper belt guard because it gives me better visibility, and I've got the bike on a lift with the wheel in the air because it makes the procedure easier, but you can still do this with the bike on the ground. You just have to roll the motorcycle forward so that you can inspect the belt and the pulley a section at a time. Next up, checking your belt tension. Some manufacturers want the bike on the side stand or they even want a rider on board when you check the tension, so it's important to reference your shop manual for the correct procedure in the exact deflection specification. And by deflection, we're talking about the amount of slack in the belt under a given amount of pressure. On this particular Harley, we're allowed to have one half to 9 16 inch deflection with exactly 10 pounds of pressure on the belt. To get those 10 pounds, you're gonna have to have a very well calibrated finger or a special tool like this belt gauge for Motion Pro. Yes, you need a special tool to do this, but it's only 22 bucks and that is a small price to pay for only having to check your belt every 5,000 miles. To check the tension with the Motion Pro gauge, you need to slide the O-ring to the 10 pound line and then place the tool perpendicular to the belt midway between the front and rear pulley. Before you apply any pressure, take note of your starting measurement. Harley does you the favor of having a window with 1 8 graduation marks. It's pretty handy, but if your bike doesn't have that, the tool itself has a roller scribed on the body. It's a good idea to rotate the rear wheel and check belt deflection in several locations and then average them out. If you've got an American bike like this Harley Davidson, that means working with fractions. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna need a separate YouTube video for tips on how to do that. If the number is out of spec, you're going to need to reposition the wheel in the swing arm to either tighten or loosen that belt. Now, some bikes have a bolt that runs through the dropout, whereas others have one of those snail shell adjuster plates. But whatever the setup, you're gonna to need to loosen the axle and then make small changes equal on both sides in order to keep the wheel straight until you've brought that deflection figure back into specification. Once you have, go ahead and tighten the axle, recheck one last time, and then you're all set. And there you go. That is all it takes to keep your belt final drive happy. And that is it for this video from the MC Garage. Before you go though, I wanted to point out that our company is doing a survey because they want to get to know you, the MC Garage audience, a little better. So if you wouldn't mind answering some questions, I will put a link down in the description and you could win yourself a GoPro camera. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, ride safe.